I decided to build the smallest and lightest SSTO rocket in Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5. If you think you can beat my new record, there's only four rules you need to follow. The first one being no cheating, no hacking, no cal overclocking, and of course, stock parts only as the game intended. While the challenge is open to anyone, well, you guys commented that I should ask specifically at these two really good YouTubers to try and beat my new record, these being StratumBlitz75 and Bradley Wistons. Now, the first part of this video will be the ascent into space of my new microscopic SSTO. The second part will be my reaction to your best comments and pieces of criticism that have helped me to build this SSTO and also to your successful attempts at beating my older record. Let's get started. And so here it goes, the minuscule rocket is now performing the circularization burn. This allows, by burning horizontally, to raise the periapsis on the opposite side of the planet. This creates a perfectly circular orbit above the planet's atmosphere. We have then created the lightest, the smallest, single stage to orbit rocket in Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5 without using cheats, hacks, or exploits. Now, we have still 100 meters per second of delta V left, but I'd like to remind for those that are mad at me for using the MechJab mod that it's simply an autopilot mod, and it cannot enhance the performance of Rocket Path in any way, shape or form. Now it's time to jump into the VAB. First of all, I would like to thank all of you guys because you explained to me in the comments of my previous video what I was doing wrong in regards to the aerodynamics of my previous rocket design. This was vital for me because then I fixed my rocket by switching into Oscar B fuel tanks which have a much lower drag factor. While clipping isn't considered cheating, I try to keep it to a minimum, although it cannot be avoided when using a single twitch rocket motor because those are radially mounted and must be clipped inside the rocket in order to be central to its center of mass. The key behind the success of this particular design is also the presence of a solar panel because it has the same mass as the smallest battery in the game but it does not produce any drag, according to my tests at least. Also the unorthodox decision of using the Twitch engine instead of the Spark one saved me 50 kilograms of mass and allowed for the success of this mission with an official mass of 810 kilograms. I received comments under my older video that Bradley Wistons made a 500 kilogram SSTO. Now this was not good news for me and 500 kilograms is radically lighter than the 810 kilogram SSTO I made now. So I had to investigate how he managed to make something so light and so small. The first clue was the date of his video. That was 2016, quite some time ago. Now, the spark engine he uses in his rocket 
was nerfed in 2019 with update 1.7. So it means that his 500 kg SSTO is no longer eligible for this challenge because it runs on an outdated KSP version where the rocket performed differently. His other video from 2020 shows an SSTO to Duna. However, I did the math quickly with the mass of its parts and it turns out that it should weigh 600 kilograms and not those 560 kilograms. So he's probably running the game in an outdated version of KSP to achieve these records. Either way, both of them are not eligible for this challenge because they run on outdated KSP versions. Then, about a week ago, a user named Mephisto sent me a link of a KSP forum of a challenge that took place in 2019 and the first place of this challenge was an 855 kilogram micro SSTO. Now this mass seemed much more reasonable than Bradley Whiston's SSTO masses. This because the players in this challenge were probably running the game already in the updated KSP version of at least 1.7. We have KSP Noob who sent me a video of his 885 kilogram SSTO, which in fact beat the record of my older video, which was one and a half tons. The user FierceBlueJ13 sent me a link of a video he made as response to my previous record. In his video, he built two different types of SSTO. The first one weighs only 100 kilograms. You may be asking, how is that even possible? Because it does work and it's stock. However, it's very simple. It functions with Cal overclocking. It's a glitch that allows for infinite fuel and much higher thrust. And in my opinion, it is really impressive, but it's not eligible to the challenge because it exploits a glitch in the game to make it function, similar to the Kraken drive, if you know what I mean. His second SSTO, however, is fair and works conventionally. It did in fact beat my record on my previous video because it weighs only one ton. Overall, check out his channel, very impressive results. You have now reached the end of the video. I would like to thank you for helping me to create this amazing and engaging community. My channel has experienced a rapid growth in the last 28 days However, only 0.3% of the viewers are subscribed. So if you enjoy my content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I plan to make Kerbal Space Program 2 content as soon as the game is released in less than a month time. So stick around and I'll see you in my next video.